Okay, it looks like we're live. Good morning, Hi, Willie with Invader Pest Management. Uh, this morning we're going to talk a little bit about termites this Tuesday. Um, today I have uh, Matt O'Brien online with me here, and um, I'm sure he may have some termite questions, and if anybody else joins, we'd love to hear any questions as well. Yeah, so Hi, Fred, Matt. this is, looks like it's um, getting into peak termite season, although termite season seems to be all year round, but uh, as things are warming up and getting active, what uh, what are the biggest concerns right now as far as uh, springtime and termites? What are the things that we should be looking out for? Well, right now we always recommend to our customers get you know an annual termite inspection at the minimum, just to have us come out and get a professional set of eyes on the home and make sure the termites aren't uh, you know causing any damage. Um, you know, we just went through a, a little bit of a rainy season. We've been kind of dry lately, but every time we get rain it kind of spurs the termites into movement. So, you know, we, we, we know that, you know, basically winter time up into the springtime before it gets really, really hot is our peak season for termites. So they're building colonies and, you know, really getting things going here. Uh, once we've got some heat now and, you know, once we get a little bit warmer and if we get a little bit more water, we'll have some swarming too, which will is kind of the reproduction cycle of termites. So, you know, they're active, you know, we, like I said, we always start with a termite inspection. I think that's the most important key. You, if you don't know for sure, you want to find out. And then obviously we can talk about some of the different protections that we offer for termite control. Well, I understand uh, living out here in Arizona that it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when you're going to have a termite problem. And uh, the other thing that I've heard is that the worst thing you can have is uh, seeing your neighbor getting the termite treatment because that means that their termites are going to be coming your way? Is that a fallacy or truth? That's a really good question, Matt. And it's kind of funny. In the old days, I would probably say that was very true. Uh, you know, we used a lot of very repellent products. So, you know, the idea was to create a barrier around the home, around the structure, and when the termites came up against this barrier, they would tend to move. And obviously with the homes as close as they are to one another, it was very likely that if you saw the out treatment in front of your neighbor's house, you were going to get them as well. Today's modern technology is, is very non-repellent. Termites don't even know they got into it. Um, or if we get into baiting, like this Intercon system, which we do employ as well, you know, the termites start eating that bait, and the idea is to kill that queen. Once you stop, you know, the queen from reproducing more and more termites, that colony will just basically self-destruct. So, you know, when you see the guy out in front of you, you should be happy because your neighbor's actually doing something that's helping you and, you know, probably all the surrounding homes because it, you know, termites will travel probably up to uh, easily as long as a football field. So you can figure, you know, how many houses are within a football field length of your home. So you should like seeing the termite guy next door. And I understand you have a, a newer uh, option for termite uh, control that uh, sounds like it's a, a good opportunity for those that do not have a termite program with their home. Absolutely. You know, Matt, we just uh, started uh, using a Centricon, and nowadays it has the new technology called Always Active. Uh, the nice thing about it is once you put these stations in the ground, uh, the termites are always foraging for food, and in that and while they're doing that and looking for food, they'll get into the bait, and it always has a bait in there that will kill the termites. So it's always working 24-7, 365. Um, it's one of the best products on the market right now. We really like it, and, and we see it uh, going a long way for us. And do you have a, any type of uh, promotion or special going on for uh, those that need uh, an inspection and uh, potentially termite control for their home? Absolutely. Um, now is the perfect time to get started. Uh, um, I don't know but if I've told you or not, but um, we're celebrating our 20th year in business, and you know one of the new programs that we just started was Centricon, and uh, Dow, who's the manufacturer for it, uh, because we're 20 years old, they've uh, given us a little bit of a, a starter kickstart because it's 20 years for us, and so we're, we're being able to pass some really great deals on to the customers. Um, you know, for them to get started with Centricon at a very low price. This is the best time ever for them to get started, at least in today's market. Sounds good. So uh, if I'm interested in uh, learning more about what Invader Pest Management can do, what's the best way to get in touch with you, Fred? 
Matt, you can always call me at our phone number, 623-435-0228, or you can go online at www.invader.net. We have a lot of information on our website um, that will kind of give you the guidance and the questions to any of your answers, and I'm more than willing to talk to anybody that wants to call in. Fantastic. Well, appreciate your uh, helpful tips, and it uh, looks like termite season is upon us, and it sounds like reproduction is... Uh, near as well so get out there and be proactive is what you always tell me absolutely we want to protect our customers homes and it is their biggest investment and you know and it's so easy actually to put a program in place to be preventative you know rather than waiting and then finding the serious damages caused by termites you know it's not one of those things that you want to you know wait on you know something we can put together and have something working 24 7 for them so they don't have to worry about termite situations I mean that's the last thing we need to worry about nowadays makes sense well uh, thanks for the info Fred we'll uh, look for you uh, another segment here soon okay thanks I appreciate it everybody have a great day bye bye